The Cleveland Cavaliers recently unveiled their 2023 to 2024 City Edition jerseys, but fans aren't exactly thrilled. The new design features the team's signature wine color and gold trim, but instead of Cleveland, the primary text reads the land in a font that's got fans calling foul. The reactions were far from favorable, with supporters labeling the jerseys as garbage and hideous. Looks like the Cavs and Nike might need to head back to the drawing board for next season. Let's switch gears to the city of brotherly love, where the James Harden trade saga continues. The Philadelphia 76ers are blaming the LA Clippers for stalled trade talks, with Sixers president Daryl Morey accusing the Clippers of not being serious about completing the deal. The Sixers are seeking an unprotected first-round pick, a first-round pick swap, a player to match salaries, and guard Terrence Mann. However, the Clippers aren't willing to include Mann in the deal, leading Maury to criticize the Clippers' negotiations. The situation remains tense, and Harden's return to the court hangs in the balance. In other Sixers news, Patrick Beverly found himself ejected from a preseason game following an altercation with Ben Simmons. Beverly took issue with Simmons' trash-talking rookie Philip Petrusev, leading to a heated exchange. There's always going to be something of a heated environment when Simmons plays the Sixers. So when it comes to basketball, I don't have a problem with Ben Simmons. But when it comes to like, he was chirping at one of our rookies. Petrusev. Like, come on. Philip with an F. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. You chirping at that guy. You know, you foul him hard as fuck. I'm talking to you all gang. You ain't saying nothing. Tobias cooking your ass. You really ain't saying nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got eight turnovers. Punching down, kind of. Yeah, like our, our rookie. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, no, you don't get no. Don't talk to me. I've been talking to you all game anyway. Talk to me. Over on the West Coast, Golden State Warriors coach Steve Kerr has been experimenting with lineups, and Chris Paul has shown his worth in the closing lineup. Paul's statistical line, 13 points, 9 assists, 6 rebounds, looked a lot like those has been submitting since entering the NBA in 2005. And while there were a couple moments when it was apparent that he still is learning the nuances of Kerr's offensive system, his work late in the fourth quarter was a vivid illustration of his value. In the fashion department, Washington Wizards forward Kyle Kuzma raised eyebrows with a bold blonde hairstyle featuring a red kiss. Mike Breen, the commentator, jokingly questioned if Kuzma had lost a bet. While Kuzma's new look drew attention, it was teammate Jordan Poole who stole the show, scoring 41 points in three quarters and leading the Wizards to victory. Did he lose a bet? <laughs> Finally, Milwaukee Bucks player Giannis Antetokounmpo is taking on a different kind of court. The NBA star has filed a lawsuit against mattress company Marie, seeking a refund of $92,003 for alleged contract breaches. The lawsuit also includes claims of unauthorized use of Antetokounmpo's photo and receiving damaged items. And that's your NBA Daily Scoop. From jersey controversies to trade talks, from on-court altercations to new hairstyles, and even a legal battle, it's never a dull day in the world of NBA. Stay tuned for more updates, and remember, keep your game strong and your passion for basketball even stronger.